Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to talk through some of the items that I saw at in the Nordstrom anniversary sale that I already own. So this is gonna be a little bit of a review video for anyone who is thinking of potentially shopping the sale because I feel like these are really good basics to have in your wardrobe. Clearly they've been in mine for a while. Um, the other thing I wanna mention, if you haven't seen it yet, I did kind of go through the entire sale, at least all the fashion items, and I condensed all of my top picks into one blog post, which I am going to link down in the description box below. If you aren't really familiar with what the Nordstrom anniversary sale is, then I will give you a quick download on what it is. It is essentially a reverse sale. So think new season items that are already marked down or discounted and it is for a short period only after which prices go back up to their usual ticket price. So that's kind of why there is so much excitement and buzz around the Nordstrom anniversary sale and why so many people really look forward to it every year because it gives you an opportunity to stock up on those new season essentials for a discounted price so you can really stretch your budget a bit further. And that's something I talk about a lot here on my channel. Now I do just want to say that if you aren't planning on shopping the Nordstrom anniversary sale or perhaps you don't currently have early access, so I'm in the same boat, don't feel like you're missing out. Uh, I do think that there are so many other incredible sales throughout the year, so you're always gonna be able to find what you need. And actually Nordstrom's end of season sale is really good. And there's loads of autumn winter essentials in there that I've spotted just from my own little brows. Um, I did pick up a couple things from that, which I'm gonna link that video up in the cards here if you'd like to go and have a watch. But I wanna just dive into it. And I'm gonna share with you, I've got, have I got five fashion items here? I also have a styling tool and I'm gonna share with you some transitional outfits for each one so you get a little bit of styling inspiration along with this video. So the first piece, a timeless wardrobe classic, the leather jacket. This is the All Saints Belfern leather jacket and I have noticed this has been included in the Nordstrom anniversary sale the last couple of years. And I just think that it is such a steal at its discounted price. Uh, it's a little bit over 30% off. The quality of this is just exceptional the leather is really buttery soft. I've had mine for a good, I think it must be four years now, or coming up on four years. I actually bought mine during the Black Friday sales and it's just held up so well. Uh, it feels like quality, it's fully lined. I like the fact that you've got the mix of the matte black hardware and the silver hardware on there too. The fit on this is a little bit more of a closer fit to the body. Um, so if you want something that is more relaxed, then this is probably not the jacket for you. And I do feel like it is a smaller cut. So I stuck with my usual size. I'm a US4 or an AU8. I got the UK8 slash US4 in this and it fits me really well. However, I can't put a chunky knit underneath it. So if that's something you intend on doing then I would say size up but this is just such a good one and I absolutely had to start with it. Um, kind of on the same theme of jackets I spotted that Madewell's denim trucker jacket is also in the sale uh, and it's in this sort of vintage light blue wash. I actually have that same oversized trucker jacket but I've got it in this faded black color and I absolutely love this. I think denim jackets are another one of those items that you see pop up on a lot of those wardrobe essentials lists and I personally find a more cropped tailored jacket just doesn't work for me. Um, just something about the proportions and the way I like to put my outfit fits together it just feels a bit off that's why I like an oversized style because it just creates a little bit more shape it has a bit more of an interesting silhouette and I'm really leaning into those larger silhouettes and shapes and just playing around with my proportions at the moment um, this one I've had for a year and a half now I want to say I've had it for quite a while and again it's held up really well a really good transitional jacket one that will sort of see you through both the summer and also autumn and you can pull it out again in the springtime so really good one I kept thinking that I'd sized up to a medium, but turns out I actually do have this in a small. Um, I quite often like to wear mine with the sleeves rolled up because I think that that just creates a little bit more shape and it exposes a bit of my arms too, so I get a bit more balance with my outfit. But really love that and the quality of Madewell Dam is really good, which kind of brings me on to the next item I wanted to mention, which is a pair of jeans, also from Madewell. So I have the 10 inch rise and the ones in the sale are the nine inch rise skinny crop jean. And these were, I believe my most worn pair of jeans for 2020. I really love the feel of the denim. So it is a medium weight. It has this thickness to it, but it is really stretchy and elastic. So it has a lot of movement. So if you're kind of bending down, crouching over, crawling around on the ground, like I was a lot last year when my son was 
a little baby, then these were really, really good for that. And I didn't feel too restricted. I do find that Madewell sizing is a little bit more on the generous side. So if you are in between sizes, go with the smaller of the two. So I am, I would say I'm kind of a typical AU8, but, um, and I, and I do generally tend to take a 26 in jeans. However, I wear a 25 in Madewell denim. Another really good one and the crop on the ankle, I think is just a really flattering point where it cuts off just above the ankle bone, at least on me. I have a 68 to 69 centimeter inseam if that helps. So if you are more of a petite height, then they will be a really good skinny jean for you. And I don't know, I just feel like there's something you can style all year round. So if you're thinking about longevity, versatility in your wardrobe, how much, how you can really maximize a piece, a good skinny jean is a great place to start. And I do have another pair of skinny jeans here. These ones are from Redone and I saw that it's a different color, different wash, but same style, the skinny crop jean. I have had mine for maybe close to five years. I've had these for a really long time. Um, I had them when we were living in our old place and I wore them so, 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 so much. I actually bought mine from Shop Bop. I think I waited until there was a sale just to really maximize my budget. Um, now these ones I do have in a 25, but I'm, I think if I was to repurchase them today, I would get them in a 26 because they do feel just a little bit snug on me. So this is the type of denim, it really doesn't have any give to it. It feels a little bit more vintage inspired. Um, it, I love the butterfly, which again, I think leans into that vintage feel of the denim. Uh, the denim itself is really nice and soft. Uh, it really just moves when you kind of have it in your hands. However, as I said, it doesn't actually have any stretch. I like the fact they've got the raw edged hems too, um, which I think is really convenient because if you do want to just chop off a little bit of extra length, you don't have to take them to a tailor to do so. You can actually just do it in the comfort of your own home. And then I would just stitch up the seams on the side so that you don't get any unraveling there. These are just such a high quality jean. And I have to say, I don't really feel like mine have faded much. The saturation of the color has really stayed quite true throughout the entire time that I've owned them and they have been well worth the money that I spent on them and as I keep saying I mean it's even better if you can get them on sale. The final clothing item that I wanted to mention is a pair of leggings and I was so excited when I saw that these were included in the sale. These are from Commando. Now I have really gone on to the leggings train. I really feel like these are such a big part of my winter capsule wardrobe. And I think there's so many different ways that you can wear them. I have the regular commando leggings. So this is in just the stretch cotton, but the ones in the sale are in the neoprene. And I actually think that that's better. The neoprene is so nice. It doesn't feel like weird scuba material, like for something you might've bought off ASOS. It's actually a really, really lovely neoprene. It is really thin, but it has got so much stretch and give to it, which is really nice. And I do have the neoprene bike shorts, so I can really speak to what the quality of the material is like. Um, I actually think the neoprene is better. The reason being that, if you have a, a cat, especially one that's got white fur, like I do, we've got a rag doll, then your cat will shed a lot, like ours does. And I get fluff on everything that is dark colored. So I do find that the regular stretch cotton pair pick up quite a lot of fluff, whereas the neoprene pair, that I have and the shorts, they do not. So a much better, much more practical from that perspective. Uh, I do have both of these in the size small and I will say that they do fit true to size. So stick with your usual size when it comes to commando leggings. They will feel quite snug when you pull them on, but um, I personally just find them so comfortable. They don't uh, cut in at the waist. Uh, the waistband is actually really, really nice and thick, it's double lined. So you really get the sucked in effect. Um, and another pair of leggings, which I do have, but I can't seem to track down are the Spanx faux leather leggings. I feel like those are one of those things that tend to go very, very quickly at the start of the sale. But um, yeah, another one that I would recommend um, as I think if you like that sort of leather look, then it's a great way to achieve it, but with a legging and one that is really reasonably priced. Um, then the final thing I wanted to share is a styling tool, as I mentioned, and I actually was really surprised to spot this in the sale. I saw that they had a GHD styler, um, and I'm not sure if it's this exact one that I have, but I've been using GHD since I was 12, I think or 13, a really, really young age. And I'm now in my early 30s. I've been using GHG for 
over 20 years and I can really speak to the quality of the products and it's what I use every single day to style my own hair. I do get questions sometimes about how I style my hair is usually using these tongs I can create waves I can do a really sort of a straight look I can also create more of those sort of crimped waves if I want um, I, I love the fact that you've got a lot of options with a heat styler like this and I think that they might be 30% off as part of the sale so again if you've been thinking about getting one of these or you need to update the styling tongs that you already have then now it's probably a good time it's also a really good opportunity to sort of stock up on some Christmas presents if you really 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 want to plan ahead otherwise wait until Black Friday that's generally when I tend to do all of my Christmas shopping anyway <laughs> So yeah, those are the items that I saw that are in the Nordstrom anniversary sale, which I already have in my wardrobe. I hope that you found this video helpful or useful. And as I said, I am gonna have those links down below where you can check out my top picks from the sale. I would love to know if you're planning to buy anything this year. And if so, what you have your eye on. Um, I have, there's a couple of things that I would maybe like to get when general access opens to the public, but we'll see if they're still in stock. Um, I do tend to find that things go relatively quickly quickly which is why I would really recommend adding anything that you love to your wish list in case it does come back in stock from returns. But yeah that is it from me today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, everything I shared will also be linked in the description box below too and yeah if you like this I would love if you could subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment, say hello and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye!